All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading May 11th to May 17th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase a search. So, uh, with that being set aside, moving to the uh, reading of the week itself, the first one which represents the general topic of your week, and we do have quite a start here with the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the energies which are feeling and supporting the topic, that will be the Queen of Pentacles, my God, um, then it is the Page of Swords, which stands as the challenges that you need to face here, followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. We have the Ten of Swords, followed by the um, impression that you are leaving into the people around. That will be the Magician. And the last one, which is the Guidance that Tarot is offering to you. <laughs> we have the Lovers. Uh, well, you're going to show those around you what you are truly made of. Oh my God. I mean... Uh, those that thought that they can mess around with you, they will have to guess again because um, it doesn't look like that they are to have a chance of any kind of resistance throughout that particular week. But uh, the main course of the week is not going to be you coping with the uh, competition. That will be kind of like as a collateral circumstance here. The main topic of the week, it is a an, an enormous potential you are to... Um, find out about um, no different than how can I say it one month's trash is another month's treasure so pretty much what happens here it is that I think that you thought is trash it will turn out to be a, a treasure and I'm not talking about a object I'm talking about a subject example idea that you thought it's super stupid and it's simply it's it's preposterous on a second thought actually it's it will look quite lucrative and uh, as well a quite potential that is uh, potent i'm sorry that is for reason being is that we do have the energies of the queen of pentacles and those energies are going to make you throughout the week to look inwards rather than outwards toward the world but toward yourself and we're talking about potentials that a personal potentials that are here to for yet unexplored by you and with those potentials that will allow they, they they will allow you to consolidate your career performance your uh, family and relationships as well in generally this week it is a week where you consolidate on your domain and uh, you pretty much are building up a estate, if you will, your, your personal estate here and maximizing and developing it to its utter glory. And that leads to the uh, situation itself, which is Nine of Pentacles. And uh, the situation takes a, a couple of uh, developments. One of the development is that you are, uh, the, the more you see how well you know your estate and your domain is settling, the more carefree and the more happy you are going to become. And the more you see how much potential you are yet to unfold within the framework of your domain and your estate, uh, is going to make you uh, quite of a um, happy for a reason being is that you are to see a self-sustainability here that you don't need anybody else, that you don't need anything else. So it's kind of like a, a state of independence. And uh, um, looking at this unfound potential yet, you are going to start planning your next leap into development once again in the framework of your current job in the framework of your current relationship and etc etc so that week it's not bringing you new things because you do not need a new things and if you have the sense that you do it's now the start of the week your eyes are yet to be opened for the uh, opportunities you have that you haven't explored yet so you don't need new opportunities because you have quite a lot around you 
Of course, this state of self-sustainability and lack of dependency is going to piss somebody around. And that is uh, this page of uh, sorts here. That is the challenge. So in a challenging position, the page, the, the page of sorts are liars okay because the page of swords it's it likes to in that position they likes to present a fiction as facts liars or manipulators and uh, their trick of a trade is to make you believe that you are not as good as you are and that you cannot prevail where you can prevail uh, so they are to withhold information, they are to twist and bend the truth, they are to try to implant a, a thought of self-doubt that you can't do it without them and so on and so forth. So you, your challenge here uh, throughout that particular week is to be able to discern that fiction from the fact. And so for you to do so, everything that you hear before you... Uh, do anything about it you have to put it against what you know to be true that is your uh, mandatory here because you have to put it against your domain and see if it fits there and if the narrative fits and etc uh, etc et because it does it, you do know how you stand you do know the truth and the only thing can sway you from it it is the convincing um, bruising arguments or arguments quote in quote because they are not argument arguments they are fallacies okay uh, of a person who just simply you know it's it's aggravated and it's pissed off that you can't that you actually reach further than they did because they don't have your domain okay they don't have your stability uh, and your um, self-sustainability as well uh, and consistency or reliability that you do have at that particular stage and unfortunately it turns out that that is a person that you have considered as a, a very closed individual or rather like a close to you okay like a good friend of yours and um, actually that resides within the gifts and the blessings here of the Ten of Swords because uh, that card points that you are, that person is going to show their teeth just in time, okay? Uh, so you do have the, um, the luxury to perform severance without experiencing any kind of um, remorse or any kind of pain that that severance needs to take place and it's not going to be difficult for you to do it that is residing within the gifts and the blessings that tough call to uh sever ties with that friend or colleague you know or or a person that you do cross paths are not going to happen to be a big deal for you at least and uh, it will be irreversible as well i mean once you sever ties that person will have no longer a, any kind of chance or a opening to make an influence in your life. So uh, this is a, about liberty. You are to liberate or purge your environment from a, a liar and from a, um, you know, a manipulator, if you will. So moving next, we are having how the people are going to look at you or what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. And that is the magician card. So people will see you quite determined and a person with a huge amount of sovereignty. Like we said, you are establishing your domain. You become more independent and more independent, hence boosting your sovereignty. But as well, people are going to see within you an unpolished diamond. Okay, uh, in a sense of that you can achieve, you can sprout your domain for a, a such a, a large. Um, estate maybe i don't know how to say it but uh, say that you can suffuse your domain to a great extent and thus having everything that you need from what you already can work with and that's why you don't need the new means in your enterprises to work with because they can only put additional jeopardizing or additional risks that you simply once again a do not need and also people are going to see you as a very skilled negotiator that is within the uh that is within the magician card so if you have been said as a um 
how do you say it, as an envoy somewhere, uh, don't be surprised. That is because, uh, for example, your boss, if your boss sends you as an envoy, that is because they think that if you can't convince the client, nobody else can. And uh, the last card here, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering for you, Capricorn, that is to be the lovers. So the lovers card as a guidance here uh, talks about a few things. Uh, first of all, don't take a problems way too personally. I mean, problems a, a trivial problems because they come and go. And in your case here with the lovers, uh, they are to start resolving themselves on their own accord. The other thing it's with the lovers is that you need to respect the differences in a sense of that even though certain people have a different expectations or different goals, different agenda, uh, you need to maintain a harmony with them because you will never know when you are going to need their help or their assistance. And the last one it is that throughout this week, based on the lover's card, you are deprived from making wrong decisions because there aren't going to be wrong or right decisions. Every decision are to be based on your own personal preference. So do not be afraid to say what you want or what you have to and go for a doing it. And uh, this is what that manipulator or a liar will try to convince you that you are doing the wrong thing. And here the lovers as a guidance points you that there are no wrong things to be done at that point because you have established your domain. Now is the time to consolidate it and you get to choose how to nobody else can choose it for you. You can't allow your friend to make choices for your family. OK, or to make choices for your career. So that being said, this was your a weekly general tower reading Capricorn for May 11 to May 17, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, stay safe now. We may see each other around. Until then, bye.